Hi, so in this session we're going to be um, talking about layers. Whenever you're going to draw something, you should always be thinking about what layer you're going to put it onto. Um, this is especially true in the new versions of ARCHICAD where we have a much more reduced set of, of layers by default. So you'll find things like walls and slabs are all on the structural um, bearing layer. Um, now this will come back to haunt you because if you go and just draw all your walls you could be changing all the settings and let's to carry on. Eventually when you go to um, do all your documentation you're going to want to for example turn off internal walls. Um, and if you haven't put them onto their own layers that can be a very difficult process. Um, there is other advantages as well as using the layers because um, we've got some really amazing controls of this. So let's have a look in here. So if you go Command L or Control L on the PC, you'll bring up the layers. Um, I am assuming it's in here somewhere. I must admit, I get so used to the keyboard shortcuts um, that I forget where this stuff actually is. Oh, here we go, layers. Here we go, layers, model view. So document, layers, layers, and the model view. Here we go. So here's all of our layers. Now, yes, as I was saying, um, there's a much more reduced number of layers which actually I, I kind of appreciate because there used to be a massive list of layers in here by default. Um, now you can see that was the one that we created although I did put three L's in there by accident. Um, so um, we can create our own layers um, and I highly recommend you do this. On the left hand side here we have layer combinations. These are also very handy. If we go and use a layer combination um, in a saved view for example we can update our layer combinations um, with some new layers that we've switched on and our saved views will update as well. This is incredibly important when you get to the documentation stage and someone wants extra things added to it um, and if that ended up on, on another layer um, you could just update the, the layer combinations and it will s speed up your, your workflow immensely. Um, it's horrible when you end up in a situation where you've got to go through your entire drawing selecting trees and putting them onto the trees layer and tree chairs and putting them on the chairs layer and interior walls and putting them on the interior it's, it's, it's a horrible process so try to get into the habit of always putting things on the correct layers to begin with. Now you might want to at the beginning of your um, of setting up your drawing actually go through and set up these layers um, or even better would be that you have um, a template that you've created or you know, your CAD technician has created um, with a whole bunch of default layers um, that you could then use. So um, let's just have a look here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, set up a new layer. So we just go Command L or Control L. I'm going to set up a new layer and I'm going to call it um, Floors. Okay, so we go OK. And we've got a new one called Floors. Notice there is an extension here as well. Um, I'm not sure if there's an official way of, that you should be using extensions, um, but what I've um, used it in the past is just to help sort of group things together. Um, so you might want, you know, maybe Floors, House, Floors, Granny Flat. Um, so maybe you have like GF and H or something, I don't know, that you put in there. Um, you can actually do this quite quickly. If you go New and I say Floors, um, Let's say outhouse. So if we go dot outhouse, I can go OK and it'll automatically put outhouse on as the extension. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one, but anyway. I can also delete them. OK. So let's go. I'm going to create some more in here. So I'm going to call this um, ceilings. Cool. And um, let's have another one, paths. Okay, so these would all be for slabs. Or we could put dot slab, I suppose, as an extension, would be kind of cool way. Um, paths. Um, I try to get correct capitalization because otherwise it looks a bit ugly later on. My keyboard's being a bit weird. Hello. Oh, it looks like the batteries on my keyboard have gone flat paths. Okay. Okay, so now let's assign these layers um, to some things like our slabs. So whenever we get a draw, remember, okay, I'm going to draw, um, let's say, a, um, a path over here. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I can actually change it right from here, so I can put this onto the paths layer. Or if I bring up the settings, and I'm going through a whole bunch of the other settings that I, I may be doing, um, I can go through and then you know change all these so that we've got um, you know our, our predefined um, 
um, slab setting. So I can go through here and say, okay, well, cool, work, this is going to be 200 mil thick. Um, yep, the top surface is going to be at zero. Um, it's going to be on the ground floor. Cool, excellent. And um, maybe I want to save this. And I'm also going to set the layer, which is right down the bottom here, to paths. Okay, you can actually, oops, I'm just bring this up a bit. Okay, so you can actually see there is our path layer. All right, <clears throat> and we can even save this to a new favorite called Paths. Oh, my keyboard batteries have gone flat, which isn't helping things. So I have to use my laptop keyboard. All right, so there's Paths. Okay. Go okay. And so now I can draw my paths. Yes, that's a triangular path. Okay, and it's on its own layer. Now, later on, when we go and um, we might want to go and have a layer combination um, with, so I'm going to go select all and just go hide. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to switch on um, paths. Oops. Now, actually, I'm going to show you a cool little trick here. Sorry, that's because everything's selected. Hit hide. Deselect all. Paths I want switched on. And the other thing I'm going to do here, right, is I'm going to create a new layer. So I've got walls are hidden, right? And we've got structural bearing. I'm going to switch structural bearing on. And if I'm left with any walls, that means they're not on the right layer. See? So they should have been on the walls. And so then when I go walls, it'll hide. Okay, so that way... I can just check if I've got left anything on that structural um, bearing layer, and now I know that all my walls, okay, so there's walls and paths, so that's the only two layers that are switched on, walls and paths, okay, and I'm going to create a new co layer combination called walls and paths, ah, walls <laughs> and paths, I'm going to go and find some batteries for my keyboard. All right, okay, and so that is now saved everything. So now if I want to go and switch on all my layers, for example, so I can go all layers off and then switch it so that I've got all my layers on, um, I can bring up that layer combination just simply by going, yep, just you, thanks. And go, okay, and everything else disappears except for my walls and my paths. Awesome, um, we will see this later on when we're going to save our views. Okay, so here's some of the, the, the views that I saved on, um, before. If I go and open up that settings, if I right click on here, I can go view settings. And I could actually say, use the layer combination, walls and paths. All right. Okay, and if I go and um, add any other elements to this, so if I went, okay, well, actually, I'm going to draw a slab and it's going on the floors layer. Cool. Ah. You've got this layer hidden at the moment. That's all good. Show me the layer. Cool. So here's my floors layer. There's nothing on the floors layer yet because I've only just created it. Okay. Now, if I was to open up Courtyard, so if I double click on it, you'll notice that um, that layer disappears. Okay. So what are we going to do? Because we want floors on this. So if I go to our layers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select walls and paths, but now I'm going to switch floors on, and I'm going to update our layer combination, hit OK, and it appears. Now, if I go all, here's all. Now, all was actually created um, before those layers were created, so um, I'm going to talk about that in a second. If we go to courtyard, though, you'll see that floors are now included in it. So I didn't have to do anything to update courtyard. Um, but obviously I have to do something to update all. Um, let's just go and have a look at the view settings on here. So the layer combination is custom. Okay, We don't actually have an all layers combination. So let's create one. So again we're going to go command L or control L. I'm going to go select all show and make a new layer combination called all. All right, okay, so that's my new layer combination called all. Now I can go to here, and we're going to go view settings, and we're going to give it the layer combination all. So what does that mean? Well, it means I can now you know, flip between these two, 
I can go back to all and all layers would be visible. However, if I create any new layers, I need to update all. Okay, even though I've called it all, it doesn't mean that it's all, it's just whatever I um, happen to create at the time. So if I go and create a new layer called um, retaining, I'm sure you're having a good old laugh at me um, using the wrong keyboard all the time. Retaining. Now, I need to update the all combinations. So I can click on all and go update. Okay, and so now all has retaining on it. Awesome. I'm going to leave it there. Um, but hopefully now you've got a really good understanding of layers um, and how to use them um, in ARCHICAD. Till next time.